former Cardinals coaches now accuse the team of racial discrimination. Steve Wilkes and Ray Horton joining Brian Flores in a lawsuit against the NFL. ABC 15's Jordan Bonke heard from former coaches at ASU tonight at a panel on diversity and hiring in the NFL. On a day when more NFL alumni joined a discrimination lawsuit against the league and their hiring practices, ASU's Cronkite School held a pre-planned panel on diversity and hiring in the NFL. It can't be tokenism. The panel included ASU Athletic Director Ray Anderson, former NFL head coach Marvin Lewis, sports journalist William Roden, and ASU head football coach Herm Edwards, who spent three decades with the NFL. And you look at those positions on offense, not many men of color coach those positions. Hours before the panel, former Cardinals head coach Steve Wilkes and one-time Cardinals defensive coordinator Ray Horton joined the discrimination lawsuit filed by former Dolphins head coach Brian Flores. Lawyers say Wilkes was discriminated against without any meaningful chance to succeed. Wilkes was let go after just one 3-13 season as head coach and replaced by Cliff Kingsbury, who followed up that year going 5-10-1. Horton says that he was passed up for the Cardinals head coaching job back in 2011. In the suit, lawyers for Horton call some of his interviews for NFL jobs a sham and just a way to comply with the Rooney Rule, an effort by the NFL to interview more minority candidates for NFL coaching vacancies. So people are interviewing you, but you're not going to get the job because the owner's going to call his other buddy and say, well, did he interview for you? Yeah, well, how was it? That wasn't very good. Well, we'll interview him. Check the box. And, and so that became the unintended consequences of the Rooney Rule. The Cardinals issuing a statement about their decision after the 2018 season, writing in part, they were entirely driven by what was in the best interest of our organization, adding, we are confident that the facts reflect that and demonstrate that these allegations are untrue. But the panel says the NFL's actions speak louder than words. In the NFL, just a long, deep history uh, of folks not really open-minded until they are forced either financially or legally to make appropriate changes and opportunity available. Jordan Bonke, ABC 15, Arizona.